there was a time when I couldn't speak in English fluently. So whenever I had to deliver a presentation, either for my college or for my work, it used to scare the hell out of me. But then I applied these techniques which helped me and today I can deliver presentations confidently in front of 100 to 100 people. Hi everyone, I am Neha Grival. I'm the founder of Wise Up Communications and today we're going to learn how to deliver presentations confidently. Even if your English is weak, grammar is off, vocabulary is not very strong, don't worry because we are going to learn how to deliver great presentations even after that. The first thing you need to know is what is the duration of the presentation you're going to deliver. Generally, it is between 10 to 15 minutes. Once you have that clarity, prepare your slides. Now, if you ask me how to prepare some killer presentation slides, well, for that, you can check out my previous video. Now, most of the time we go with one minute per slide rule, which means if you have to deliver a presentation for 15 minutes, then generally in your presentation, you should have somewhere between 12 to 15 slides. Now, once your slides are ready, it's time to work on the delivery script. For that, Open a Word document file and divide it into the number of slides that you have to present along with an opening section and a closing section as you can see here. Now for the opening of the presentation, if you watch other YouTube videos, some people will tell you open with a thought provoking question. Someone else will tell you open with a story. Someone else will tell you open with a joke. I will tell you, don't do any of these things. Only people who have a good command over English and have had enough practice are able to pull these kind of things off. For us, we're just going to keep it simple and professional. So you can open your presentation by saying, Good morning everyone. Today we are here to discuss a topic. Or, Good morning to all present. Today we are gathered to discuss a very important issue. After the opening, you will share the agenda where you will explain step by step what are all the things you're going to cover in your presentation. For example, you can say, first I'm going to introduce to you what are electric vehicles. Then I'll share some important information on the functioning of electric vehicles and what is the application of electric vehicles in India. Then we will discuss what are the existing challenges and finally I'm going to share with you what is the potential of electric vehicles for the future. So if you see, in a short and concise manner, I shared the entire agenda. Similarly, you can do that as well. After the agenda, you move on to the slides that you wish to explain. Now one important rule you should remember here is the top-down method. What does that mean? It means that whenever you have to explain a slide, always start with the key takeaway first or what is the most important message that you want to share from that slide. After that, you will talk about how did you arrive at that key takeaway. So what are the supporting arguments, the details of the analysis or the data that you've collected, etc. Generally, people go with the opposite method. They first talk about the data, then they talk about the analysis and then in the end, they talk about the final result. And what happens when you do that is for the longest time, your audience is left in confusion. They don't know what is this data, what is this analysis you're talking about and what are they supposed to derive out of it. So when you share the key takeaway in the beginning, they immediately have a clear picture of what you're talking about in the slide. And then they will listen to you intently because they can understand what's happening on the slide. Now for the closing of the presentation also, we will keep it simple. Towards the end, give a quick summary of the presentation and what are the key points that you have covered. This will be a great recap for your audience because if they've listened to you for 20 minutes, then they deserve to know that, okay, what are the key things that they are supposed to take away from your presentation and your summary will help in doing that. After that, thank the audience for their patience and for listening to you and then you can open the session for questions. Now for the script, write all of these things down. But the key here is to not write full sentences and to not mug it up. Because if you learn the entire script, then you will constantly feel nervous of forgetting something. 
and if you're actually not able to remember a word then you will go into panic mode and go blank so we don't want that to happen so whenever you're preparing the script only write the key points in bullets so that when you go on stage you can elaborate on the points yourself and don't have that tension of remembering the script word by word now that your script is in place it's time to practice ideally you should practice in front of a mirror because that way you can see your entire body language and how you're speaking but if you're lazy like me then a shortcut is to simply open the voice recorder on your phone and record the entire presentation that you're going to deliver because you have already written the key points in your script all you need to do is connect these points together when you're speaking so very less chances of you going wrong with grammar or going wrong with vocabulary once you're done recording listen to it and then try to identify the mistakes that you're making chances are you might be speaking too fast or you might be using some filler words or you might have made some grammatical errors here and there write it down write all your mistakes down and then the next time that you practice make conscious effort to not repeat those mistakes once you do this process for 2 3 times you will already start feeling very confident about your presentation delivery now on the delivery day simply go on stage and explain the information how you had done in the practice sessions now if i share a secret tip with you just before your presentation find an empty place and stand in the superman pose with your chin slightly raised and your hands on your waist The moment you do this for 2 to 3 minutes it will immediately take away your nervousness and you will start feeling more confident. Now when you go on stage one thing you need to remember is that it is okay to make mistakes. Even if you make some mistakes here and there it is all right. The audience is very forgiving as long as you're able to explain that information in an honest manner. Now if you wish to learn in detail how to prepare and deliver killer presentations from scratch then you can join me for my advanced presentation skills course otherwise if you want to work on your english and learn how to speak and write in english fluently then you can join me for my 5 week communication skills course you can check out my website to know when is the next live batch taking place and register accordingly to know more the link is in the description and in the pinned comment So guys that's all I wanted to share with you today. Hope you got enough tips on how you can deliver your next presentation confidently. Please tell me in the comments below if you have any questions and please share your experiences to how your next presentation went. Thank you so much for watching and I wish you have a fantastic career ahead.